Today we're comparing two affordable two-inch compression drivers from PRV Audio, the WG2200PH Slim and the WG2000PY Slim. These are budget-friendly, but they do have serious output, but they have very different roles. Let's break down what sets them apart and most importantly, how they sound. The WG2200PH Slim has been around for a while in the form of just a driver when it was the D2200PH. This is, of course, a phenolic vocal driver that has 200 watts power handling. It is a compact design. They both use the WG1450X Slim, which is a fairly new design. It is very compact. This one right here, being phenolic, it is smoother. It has more of a warm sound in the mid-range vocals and it extends the frequencies a little lower, but it does roll off earlier on the high end when compared to the PY. This one right here is a very good driver for, like I said, mid-range vocals, but you do need to pair it with a tweeter. You have to use a tweeter to cover the top end with any phenolic driver. The WG2000PY Slim is a fairly new player in the compression driver game. The PY is polyamide. We're gonna just call it PY for short, PY and PH. So this one is 150 watts power handling. This driver right here being PY as opposed to the PH is a newer material. It definitely bridges the gap more between the phenolic and titanium drivers. This one right here can definitely have more highs than the phenolic driver. So you don't need to use a tweeter with this driver. It is optional. You can use a tweeter. This driver definitely sounds more natural than a phenolic driver. They're both pretty durable. However, the phenolic has been known to be very durable out in the streets battling. It is the go-to driver when you're trying to get real loud vocals from a compression driver. The PY seems to have a little more clarity, obviously because it has that high frequency that the pH lacks. So by itself, the PY definitely sounds better and is more value for your money because you don't need an additional component to use it compared to the pH. Most of you have heard phenolic drivers out in the streets, but the PY is a fairly new thing. I use these a lot now because they're so versatile, you don't need a tweeter with them. Um, and they have very good output, sound very natural and clean. We're gonna hook these up and you're gonna be able to hear the difference between the two drivers. But first, let's talk about the sound they produce and the differences between them on the frequency response chart. We have the WG2000PY Slim on the left and the WG2200PH Slim on the right. We're gonna go ahead and put a line down across the graph at 106 dBs. Usually we do 100 dBs, but because this is a compression driver, it's pretty loud, so we're gonna do 106. So this is give us a baseline to kinda compare the two drivers. All right, so with that being marked out, let's go ahead and circle the usable vocal range in a compression driver. So it's about uh, anywhere between about 500 all the way up to two, three, four thousand. So this area here, general area. So right inside here, you can kind of see um, that the pH has a small advantage right around 1000 Hertz. Um, but it dips down around 2K, and 2K is where you get strong vocals, and you can see the PY is right up at that 106 dBs, and then it stays climbing up into the 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 hertz, whereas the 2200 pH kind of dies off there. And you can see, we'll get a different color here, and the highs... is almost non-existent on the pH, but the PY has highs going damn near right up to 20,000 hertz. Let's hear how this sounds. Before we get into playing any music, what I'm gonna do is just connect these one at a time 
so you can kind of hear just the white noise and it will give you an idea of the response. You can hear the difference clearly between the two with just white noise playing through them. So I'm going to connect the PH and we're going to listen to that and then I'll connect the PY and we'll take a listen to that. Here is the PH. You can hear it's very warm. Let's see if we could turn this up a little bit. It doesn't make a difference. Now let's put the PY. You can immediately hear that high frequency coming through the PY driver. Now I'm going to connect them both and then we can go back and forth and hear them. We're going to play some music through this. I have on the DSP just for testing purposes get that to show on the high pass filter which is the low frequencies I'm gonna set it to 600 BT 12 okay that's because that's as low as that we can go usually on the phenolic the PY should not go as low but we're just gonna leave it there we have the low pass filter off don't worry about the 7400, just off. Later we'll set an LPF to where that's supposed to be. I have the capacitor on each one of these drivers that comes with it. So the PY comes with the 1200 hertz and the PH comes with the 600 hertz. So we're just gonna play these this low, just go back and forth, you can kinda hear, and then we'll do one at a time and turn them up loud. You can hear the difference. PY actually has a little stronger clap to it. Right now I'm going to separate them and I'm going to play them one by one, just bounce back and forth. I'll point to which one is playing so you can kind of get an idea which one it is playing. We're going to put the same song, we're going to run it back a little bit, and we're going to start with the PH. And then we'll go to the PY again. This, this is basically wide open. We just have a high pass filter. Um, it's kind of tough to do both because they're on the same amp to put the frequency where it's supposed to be. But I'll do a quick sniff with uh, this driver on its frequencies that it's supposed to play, and then that one over there. So then you can really hear the big difference of where they're supposed to play. So we're going to connect the phenolic here. And we're going to put the fresh play. What I'm going to do now is just go back and forth off camera and switch the filters, switch the filters. Um, so that way you get a good idea of what they're supposed to sound like. Right now it's wide open. You can clearly hear that this doesn't have the highs that that driver does. That driver's highs are crystal clear. This one doesn't really have highs. So we're going to cut the highs out of this one so you can really hear what it's supposed to sound like.
compared to the PY with no filter because it can play all the way up. WG2000, great if you're building a budget system and you want to have tweeters or you already have tweeters and you're trying to put a driver, this is the way to go. The 2000 PY is great for a two-way setup, you have a 12 inch or a 10 inch with just a compression driver, this is it right here because you don't need to add a tweeter. And opposed to titanium, this sounds more clear, more natural and not as harsh as a titanium compression driver would. Drop a comment if you've used either one of these drivers. And if you haven't, which one do you think you're going to use in your build?